You know what it is, Rebecca. Rebecca lives in Bolivia, high in the Andes. The environment near Rebecca's home is very beautiful, with hills and snow-capped mountains, crystal clear lakes and dramatic glaciers. Sadly, in recent years the climate has changed. Glaciers are melting and rainfall is less reliable. One of the main challenges for Rebecca's community is the challenge of poor soil quality, which makes it very difficult to grow crops here. For Rebecca's community, caring for creation also means caring for the earth that sustains them. So the local community asked CAFOD's partner SIPCAR for training in farming methods that enrich the soil without harming it, such as building wormeries to make compost, using organic fertilisers and terracing the land to stop soil being washed away. Local families have also been helped to share their farming knowledge with each other. This has been good for the community, good for creation and good for Rebecca too. Last year, some of us from my school were trained as CAFOD climate bloggers. We found out more about communities in developing countries who are standing up against injustice, like poverty and hunger caused by climate change. I think we're all part of God's family, so if I stand up for justice, it's like I'm standing with them while they work hard to change things. I want to be part of that. Our group has done all sorts. We campaigned in schools and met with MPs. We marched in London against climate change. We took part in prayer services and we blogged about injustice. This year, our Young Leaders group has been getting other people in schools to do things in solidarity too. Like apple bobbing to raise money for Lent Fast Day and making green hearts to raise awareness of climate change. Because everyone is part of just one world. Proscovia. Proscovia is 14 years old and lives in Karamoja, northern Uganda. Access to safe drinkable water is a basic human right. But in Uganda, around one person in four has no access to safe water. Proscovia's community were forced to either use water from a polluted river or to walk a long way in queue for hours at a borehole in another village. For any community to flourish, people need water for drinking, for washing, for growing food and for cooking. CAFOD's partner, the Catholic Diocese of Moroto, prepared the local water pump so that families like Proscovias can get water close to their homes. Some community members, like Proscovia's mom, received training so that they can maintain the pump themselves and know how to repair it. Having clean water nearby has been good for the whole community and Proscovia can go to school because she no longer has to spend hours collecting water, so she can flourish too. Martin is 12 years old and lives in Myanmar. When Martin was younger, his village was destroyed by a huge cyclone. Houses were swept away, crops were destroyed and many people died. The villagers worked together with help from Kafod's partner Caritas Myanmar to rebuild and to protect their community against future storms. They built a barrier to protect their crops from future floods. 
and they built a rice bank to store food safely. Then they worked together to develop an emergency drill. Now, if a cyclone is coming, different villagers take responsibility for raising the alarm making sure the most vulnerable people are helped to safety and providing first aid. Even the youngest school children know how to pack an emergency bag to be ready for the storm. Everyone plays their part so that the whole village can be safer, including Martin and his friends. <laughs>